Hello there, welcome in to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you're doing well in this time. I thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel. Much love and appreciation. So we're going to get some messages for chosen ones. So hold tight. We're going to see what's going to come out for chosen ones in this time. So, you know, chosen ones, the elect, the special group that are meant to, what, carry on the soul vibration of earth, of life. The 144. I don't know. Maybe we're going to learn something in this message about what it means to be a chosen one. Okay. Angels, spirits, guides, and beloved ancestors. The well-being energies forces on the planet that echoes or through me or is absorbed or that I am open to being <sighs> yes messages for the ones that are chosen the question arises chosen for what the king of cups chosen for what it's almost like do you know what your mission is hmm you know that brings back to my mind a part of the a part of, um a part of the book the alchemist where the a rich man sent his his son to kind of study a, a very successful and wealthy king or something when he went there a lot of other people were there to study this king or to learn from him or this wealthy man right so when he went there this little boy the king gave him a spoon with some oil in it but the king told him to go around the kingdom or the castle enjoying the beautiful scenery and all of that so he went but he was supposed to Ensure that the oil in the spoon did not spill. So he went around, but he went around the castle, but he didn't get to see any of the beautiful things because his attention was focused on making sure that the oil in the spoon wasn't spilled. So when he went back to the king and the king said, so did you see my marvelous creations? Did you see my art gallery? Did you see my garden? The little boy or the youngster said no, because he was so focused on the oil in the spoon. So the king said, you know, you have to go back again because it's almost like, well, the moral of the story is while you have your mission and your purpose, you're supposed to be enjoying life. You know what I mean? You're supposed to find that balance of serving your purpose is also being within the experience, how you be in the experience as a chosen. You are chosen as life to represent life how you be hmm. and it's almost like so the spoon who gives you the mission help us to understand this mission with the spoon and the oil so the spoon and the oil would be the the your mission your purpose your intention you know because everyone has one of those or a couple the moon card the judgment What's the mission of the chosen one? What's the judgment energy? <sighs> the judgment, many are called, right? Few are chosen, so it's, it's fitting that the judgment is here. The judgment also feels like the angel of fire or... What is that? Autumn of when things, a season, a time, when things would end, like the falling of leaves in autumn, to bring in a new season. As if judgment is saying it is the end of, judgment is the vibration of autumn. Are of the ending of any season, but I'm getting autumn. 
the chosen ones are here too. Their soul is meant to be exposed to the moonlight, to light. Chosen ones. What is the judgment card, angel spirits, guides? You're supposed to know who you are. It's almost like a wake up call. As if it is, you've always been chosen. You came here chosen. But the time comes when the alarm is sound that you wake up to your soul mission which is the oil in the spoon you find the oil in the spoon energy something that your north energy but more powerfully the oil in the spoon you wake up to why you came here in the first place it's as if in judgment time when the chosen ones are called the calling the alarm awakens your soul the light in your soul. It's as if you've been sleeping or you've been a robot. You've been hibernating just maybe to get through the physical manifested. I know the intention of the spirit can move through you as you awaken. It's not even you, honestly. It's, it's more than you that's awakening you, shows one. It's, a, it's the presence of what is divine that has orchestrated all of this. And so as you aliven or awaken, you begin to move immediately. As if this, you awaken with this spoon of oil in your hand and you immediately know what your mission is and you just move toward that. You get the picture? You get what I'm saying? The vision. And when you awaken, you know who you are. You know your connection to that light that is in your soul. It gives you messages. So as an awakened one, your intuition is powerful it's almost like you have a, 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 a private connection or an exclusive connection to the divine as it, it sends you messages too you listen and you move in the physical most of the things that you do may not be explainable or may not make sense if you're looking at your life from a normal person's view but in spiritual, like the actions that you're taking in spiritual is guided by the divine. It's you're following the mission. You're walking with, you're exploring life with the spoon and the, the oil in the spoon. Now, <clears throat> children ones, the thing is, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Listen up. You walk in with the oil in the spoon, this mission that you have to bear when as you awaken to the calling. It balances out with you enjoying life. I want to get this for you. Listen. So it balances out you enjoying life. Remember that story with the little boy. He's supposed to enjoy the scenery as well. So, yes. As you go move around, you're enjoying the scenery. You are more happy maybe than the environment would. Well, no. But you're enjoying the scenery. That is what is important. What has been created. Because you're in this home, in the king's home, you know what I mean, as in the story on earth. You are here to do something, but there is much to absorb, to take in, and to learn from the environment as well. That's what makes the experience wholesome. So it's not just about following the mission, it's that you're studying the entirety of this 
earth, of this land, of this kingdom that you're in. So the experience is more full. I wonder if I get to know what I'm saying. It is even more important, I feel, that you enjoy the scenery than enjoy than and pay more than pay attention to the oil. Because it is you it is in you enjoying the scenery and living life and being evidently aware of the beauty that is surrounding you that's what makes you chosen to represent it it's as if the king likes to have people that loves his creation to see people ooing and aahing but there are so many that would come into his kingdom and just walk with their head down head on the phone head into the phone you know giving their souls to what's in the phone and not really looking around and being appreciative of creation, therefore neglecting to even appreciate them, them, themselves as a creation and as a creator. So as a chosen one, you're supposed to remind people that they're a part of creation and they're a creator. As you're moving, you're creating. And as you are enjoying life, you're inspiring others to become awakened because in this time there are a lot of gadgets and as i say with the phone vibration a lot of people with their heads down their souls being sucked into technology you're supposed to represent life so people will see you it may you may be strange you may be strange you may be doing strange things but that's what's going to have to happen because you're living through your soul. It's no longer you that's moving you. And you know what? The, you are, it's, it's a beautiful thing because there are so many people that are attracted. Even the ones that you, you as a chosen one, it's almost like each chosen one is represented for, a, is, rep, is responsible for awakening some other souls. The ones that resonate with you. It's as if each Chosen one has their own tribe that they're supposed to inspire and awaken from wherever they are in this world. And so, chosen ones, you may use your devices to do so, to inspire, to show the difference, to show life, to teach. You know, just imagine being in the king's castle as in that story. You're walking around, you're looking at the art, you're learning from art, you're learning from the art pieces as well. You're learning from what's in his garden, the flowers that he planted. So when you go back home, you have a full story, a full detailed story to give. Well, when this little boy went back home, he had a full detail, would have a full detailed story to present to his father to say, you know, he had roses, you know, but, and then there's so much to learn. Because he could learn more about the roses, learn more about each rose, learn more about the soil, ask questions. There's so much to learn, so much to learn in this king's kingdom. It's about the adventure, the exploration, the, the fun, the joy, the adoration for creation that is really expressed through your soul as you live so as a chosen one you're going to come into contact with fellow chosen ones who when they speak you know the year you hear because something has been lifted so in the evening the way they speak is like on a different frequency it's as if you and other chosen ones can connect on a rate on a wavelength some 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 frequency you know what i mean it's it's a different frequency it's like li listening to i'm imagining robots soul family connection and <laughs> i'm imagining robots with a soul but and they're all scattered all over the ro the world and um they can't they they really co they communicate through a frequency that only they, they can hear so yes your instincts and your intuitions are sharp you may be even hearing frequencies that you know only certain animals would pick up like the dogs can hear certain things i think you you your your ear your hearing has improved too 
Yes, because you have to be a chosen one. You have to become even keener, more sensitive, especially to beautiful things so that you can multiply beautiful things. So, yeah, uh -huh. multiply beautiful things. That's what you are here to do to bring the balance to what save, save, save the, the planet. Are not safe, but help to restore. Restore. Mm -hmm. Angel spirits, guides, messages for chosen ones on this journey that are currently now listening to this message that will need anything from you at this point. So I feel salt water in my nose. Like someone has been swimming a lot or salt water. Mm. Something about letting go, mm, something from the past, releasing maybe friends or connections, thoughts, things that hold you back. As if it is time now to move forward in thinking. Ooh, so a lot. You know, chosen ones, you have the capacity. You you were here before you awoke. Downloading a lot of possibly trauma. And some of you, as you awaken, you might not have yet realized something. As if you, you've realized that the trauma is just a chip that's downloaded in you for the information that you gather you are some of you are still in that phase of living in the trauma it's like you haven't um taken out the trauma chip and you know re-evaluated it searched it out see what information you're to learn from it because you're here to apply the knowledge you're not here to suffer from the trauma but you're here <laughs> so cool you're here it's like you're just here even from childhood whatever just the moment you came you were downloading everything and it may be painful because some of it was really deep some of the trauma you know nerves deep nerves deep like physical injury deep mental injury deep you know what i mean and short like short wiring of systems but the thing is you are not forgotten you're not alone and the light is coming for all of you for all of you every part of you you are to be completely awakened in time so trust divine timing as well um give thanks more for where you are connect more to the spirit soul within you that is guiding you do so through meditation especially when you feel stuck know that it is not your journey alone you are part of a collective maybe it's just not your time yet you know there's there are parts of the puzzle pieces that are going in into the thoughts to figure things out as we heal or restore life and love and balance on this on this planet so maybe it's just you, you play a very important part, but hold strong. You're still to hold your ground. You are still to hold firm, you know. And it would be powerful if you can fortify yourself by awakening other souls to be with you on this journey. You would do so by being clear, speaking your truth. You find your spirit tribe, oh my God, literally by speaking your truth and being clear on presenting your gifts, offering your gifts. And this is going to also bring in success for you automatically, but it won't be the success that matters. It will be... You fortifying yourself spiritually. The sun, Christ energy in this time. It's you getting your team, your army together. 
It's as if you're holding the fort and you need to multiply yourself with as much awakened beings as possible and they're going to come towards you. They're, you're speaking a message that they want to hear and it is getting into their soul. They may not be fully as, you know, as fully awakened as you yet. That's why they're coming to you for your support and guidance. But, or whatever it is, it may, it's not even about competition. It's about just the message that you're offering. Because we're here for one another as well. You know, I inspire you, you inspire me, we inspire each other. It's not about competition. Or who has this, or most this, or whatever. You know, I'm sending out a message. I'm receiving messages. That's how we strengthen each other. Um, so, yeah, I feel like speaking, expressing yourself, saying what you've been experiencing, just being open, not being afraid. It's just, a, it's just life. It's just living. It's like going through the kingdom and just being unafraid, being childlike in exploration. Even when you're faced with situations that seem dark, the Bible itself says, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. As I fear no evil. No evil. You know what I mean? And love is on your side. I'm just saying this for someone who is going through it spiritually, you know. Because some people... Some chosen ones are dealing with the psychological effects of trauma and um, remaining strong. And supposed to, you're supposed to get back on track, you know what I mean? Remember your soul, remember the oil in the spoon. Mm -hmm. But some are still in the story, yeah. But that's fine. As I say, we're here with each other. I'm still, we're all here for each other. That's what I mean to say. <clears throat> I feel also speak wherever you are. Speak, teach, don't hide, give thanks. And there's so much success for you. It's as if, if you allow the light to shine through your soul, you become as abundant as the light itself, as the sun. There's nothing new beneath the sun, chosen one. You're just doing what you're doing. Being yourself, offering, just being yourself. Not even offering, but just being. Time and time again. Messages of love for chosen ones. This is a great love. Normally this card feels like destruction or force, aggravation, anger, fright. <laughs> but it's like a powerful force of love that will be, that is there and ready. Mm -hmm. Hmm. about speaking to being clear about your intention what are you here to do it's almost like knowing exactly why you are here and even though your story or your scenario your vision might be different from others it's all the same it's all the same so collectively, collectively focus upon what the, the vision is. The vision. We allow things to flow. Set your intentions every day. Be grounded. Have faith. Someone may want to say something to you. Some of you. All right, my dears. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy out there. Remember to hit the like button. Share the message with those you love. And hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to the channel. All of your support is so abundantly appreciated. 
Much love to you. Remember that you are all and all is within you. You can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire. Take care.